Hey guys, Justin here with DataSpark, and today I want to give you a few tips on optimizing your listings for keywords. As you know, getting the right keywords is all the difference between your items being at the bottom of the list of products that Walmart shows to customers or at the top of lists that uh, Walmart shows to customers. And you may know that, uh, or may or may not know that Walmart and Amazon keywords are very different. And so if you're one of those sellers or, and brands that has just brought over your listings from Amazon, and maybe made some changes to that because that's what Walmart wants you to do, uh, you still probably have those old Walmart or Amazon keywords in here and you need to update them for, uh, for Walmart. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, there's a, a number of ways to do that, but one of the ways I think works very effectively is just coming in here and let's find the top products that are in this home decor rugs doormats node. So the way I'm gonna do that is come over here to DataSpark and to the category explorer page. And these categories here exactly mirror the locations that you're going to find on Walmart. So I'm going to come out down here to home, to decor, and down to uh, rugs. So I'm just going to click on this right here and just see the top 1,000 bestsellers. Okay, so as soon as that rugs that that runs, I'm going to go ahead and filter for doormat, and I'm going to sort this by the estimated 30-day revenue to get the the top ones here, and then I'm going to export this. Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take these. Let me just double check here that I got this with doormats. Okay, yeah, they did. Okay, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to take the top 10 or 15 or so and I'm going to bring them over into our Keyword Explorer. So if you come in here to Google Sheets, open a new sheet, grab all my ID in here, paste this in here. All right, so then I'm gonna come into DataSpark's Keyword Explorer. And I'm gonna choose this option to get a product's keywords list. Now what this is going to do is this is gonna bring up for me all of the keywords that this product ranks in the top 80, the first two pages of search results. And so what this is gonna help me see is what are the, these are the top items in doormats um, and so I'm gonna be able to see what keywords are working for these products so that I can try to compete on those. All right, so you can immediately see, so let me explain what this is showing. So this is saying, these were the items that we just picked, one of those top 15 items. This is the product name. This is the keyword that it ranks for. This is what this keyword ranks for on, on Walmart. And here is the rank on Amazon. Now we show it in here if it's in the top 1 million of Amazon keywords. So you can see welcome mats for outside ranks number 4,558 on Walmart and it does it's not in the top 1 million on Amazon. And you can see here just very quickly how different keywords are on Walmart versus Amazon. Um, here you can see this one if you welcome mat is what you're using that's a, a, a highly ranked keyword on Amazon 5,315 but it's not nearly as well ranked on on Walmart. And so that's one we may not want to, we may try, want to try to find a better one. Now over here, this tells you what the product position is, this product, how, where it ranks for this keyword. And so that's gonna help you um, just kind of see if that's the top one or the bottom one. For this one, we're not gonna pay too much attention to that because we're more worried about just getting the right keywords to optimize your listing. So what I'm gonna do from here, what I like to do is just sort this by the Walmart rank and let's find the top ranked ones. Okay, so you get one of the products uh, that happens to rank for boot tray for some reason, so we're just gonna ignore that one. Don't know why it ranks there, but that's what Walmart does. Um, but doormat, obviously, you've got several of those that rank for doormat, and so we wanna make sure if we're selling a doormat, we have doormat in the title. Um, the interesting stories I have around this, that seems obvious, but unlike uh, Amazon often knows the context of like if you're selling a toy, they know it's a toy, and so you often don't see the word toy in the title. Uh, Walmart is in that same way. They don't have as much context about what these products are. And so it's really important that you get the type of product that is right in the title uh, and the description. 
Okay, so now we come over here and we see like welcome mats for outside uh, is one of those that is a highly ranked one on Walmart but doesn't even exist on, on Amazon. So this is one that probably is gonna feel a little awkward to try to put this in the title, but this would be a great one if you're saying, hey, if you're looking for welcome mats for outside or an outdoor mat or whatever this may be, this mat um, you know, serves that purpose. That's awful wording, but something around that that you can kind of put that into the description. You wanna write it for the customer, but you definitely wanna optimize it for the, these keywords. And so this makes it pretty easy to come through here and just see what are those words I'm wanting to use. Entrance rug uh, is really good. Again, not nearly as highly ranked on, on Amazon, uh, but it is on Walmart. So we want to make sure we use that. So that's the process we'd use. And I would kind of go through here one by one, tally up all the keywords I want to make sure I fit in uh, somewhere. And that's where I'd send it over to my, uh, my editor to say, and my, my, my content team to say, all right, let's make sure we get these keywords. Let's update our, our title and our description. One other thing I'll tell you is it is really important to be within that 75 to 100 character mark um, for, uh, for your title. Um, our analysis that we've done shows that that makes a significant difference in how much traffic Walmart is gonna push your way. So I hope that helps in one easy way to find the keywords that are gonna be help you optimize your listing on Walmart. Hey, and uh, let me know if there's anything else I can do to help you guys uh, sell on Walmart.